Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of A Dairy Man's Diary. My name is Frank, and we have rented a plow. A uh, few reasons. We've been asked by the local council to jump in and help clear some of the back roads around here, uh, which we're happy to do. Uh, fortunately, my local dealer actually had a, a plow that I could rent. I'm sure the price went up a bit after all this snow. But, um, yeah, we're only too happy to kind of jump on board there and do what we can. Now, in terms of the yard, we're just trying to get it all cleared up a little bit so that we can actually uh, move around a bit more fluidly, which I think we've kind of done for now. We're still using the one entrance. We actually chopped up the trees over here as well. Uh, you'll notice that it's, yeah, it's a little bit more fluid. Uh, we can get ourselves up to all the machinery around the yard there. And also we have our access point there as well, which is good. It's what we need. Uh, and now we're just going to try and get out without snagging any of those tree branches. Get around there, touch, perfect. Uh, and we're going to do the back roads really, down onto the main road. I think we've seen a few different vehicles of the councils out and about. Oh, that's my wrong hydraulic, let's do that. There we go. We're just going to clear our way out of the entrance here. Awesome. It's a nice plow. Uh, we had to put it onto the 68 because it's the only tractor which had enough weight behind it. Uh, so we had to take the front loader off, really. Um, obviously, the 78 doesn't, or 77, sorry, doesn't have a um, doesn't have a front linkage. So we had to get rid. Of, couldn't use that one, unfortunately. Your yellow is just. There we go, find out which way my spool valves work, perfect. We're just going to angle the plow so it works a little bit better for me, but what I want to do as well is just go clear a path up to my house, first of all, actually. Let the missus be able to get in and out. And then, yeah, we're going to go take a drive, we're going to do all the back roads around here, and all the way down towards the, uh, the chicken yard as well, make our life easier than anyone else who's going to be floating around there as well. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, it's a... It should be a bit of a fun job, I haven't done this in a while. As you can see, the snow, it's still falling. We weren't really expecting it to be still coming down. Um, it is, so it's not much we can do really, but just try and make it work. Uh, and hopefully the, the weather forecast would look like it's going to stop soon. So, fingers crossed for that. Uh, but yeah, it has been a little bit relentless. And around we go here. Get up that. We did put the weight block on the back of this tractor. Just gives us a little bit more traction where we need it. You can see I've already been up and down this road, but we're just going to drop the plow down past the trailer here um, and just widen this out a little bit. Now, one of the reasons we are trying to widen that out uh, is because we are unfortunately expecting a big delivery today. Um, now it hasn't arrived yet, and I haven't received confirmation that it's it's cancelled or anything. So. To my knowledge, we're still expecting it, uh, and we are receiving a, a new delivery of a new bit of equipment on the yard. So, uh, we really need to make this wide enough for a truck and trailer to get through. Uh, so, we'll, we'll be plowing both ways, I think, with this. Uh, at the moment, I'm just kind of stuffing up my uh, my gateways, really, with any snow, just so we can get through a bit better. And we'll go straight over that. Wonderful. Now, we're going to go this way first, I think. Let's widen this all out. Perfect. Off we go. So, how have you been anyway? I hope you're doing very well. Uh, we've been full of busy here over the last few days. Uh, just trying to recover. Uh, make sure all the cattle are doing well. It's been a real struggle to make sure the cattle are kind of recovering and... Uh, kept warm and dry and full of food, so that's been our main issue. But yeah, they, they seem to be coping all right. Uh, you can see we've still got a fair, uh, a good foot or so of snow lying around. So I'm not sure if or when that'll ever uh, disappear properly. But yeah, I did get a phone call about this plow not so long ago actually, and it really has helped us out quite a lot. Um, I'll probably spend the next couple of hours just cruising around here. This road's been travelled on quite a bit, so some of the snow's starting to melt away, but what we will do is just, like I say, keep widening it out a little bit. Uh, make sure that looks okay there. Uh, selfishly for my own reasons, but yeah, something we do need to do. 
Uh, and then we'll, we'll take a drive along some of the main roads, just continue to help out a bit. I actually had to pull a few cars out yesterday. A few people got a bit stuck there, but uh, you just got to help out where you can, really. Uh, farmers get called into kind of use at this time of year, and it's something I really don't mind helping out with either. As you can see, the main road, though, doesn't look too bad at all. Oh, it might be high. Yeah, a bit better than that. Okay, we'll just go straight forward with this, hopefully. Excellent. Let's just get this one cleared up here as well. Barely been travel down here. We've got some hay and silage down here as well that we'll love to get to at some point. Uh, Lord knows how and when that'll happen, but uh, it's some fighting chance, I suppose, if we do this. Ooh, what did we just hit there? I'll tell you what, there's something awfully soothing about being in the uh, plowing snow. Just gotta concentrate on what the plow's doing, but ultimately, yeah, it's a very nice little job. Ooh, God, we're getting a bit fresher here. Let's try that. There we go. And yeah, it doesn't take too much of a, a task for me to do, but it helps out an awful lot of people giving access back to the, the main road, so it, it's always nice. It means that we can get down to our stock a little easier as well. The chickens have uh, been all pretty much locked up inside all day for the most part. It's been too cold for them outside. Uh, they don't seem to mind being in the warmth, put it that way. Come on, up we go. Let's just... Get rid of this big body of snow here. Oh, there goes the gritter over there by the looks of things. Good to see those boys are still out and about. I think they'll probably try and get into these smaller roads once I've uh, once I got up here and cleared it all. Or at least you would hope. I think I'll do just jump over here. I'm just going to shovel all that back over on itself just so it doesn't block off the road at all. That's another thing we're really struggling with because of the extent of extensive wind and the high winds that we've had. Drifting is becoming a bit of an issue, so I'm really trying to get on top of that. What I'm going to do is just take some of the slow. I'm not sure which way this uh, lorry is going to arrive from today. It's something a bit rough there, but we need to make sure that it can actually get through where, whichever way it is coming from. Uh, so there's a few smaller roads up to our place that I'm just going to retrace back through. Make sure everything looks good there, and then I can... Uh, I'll head back up to the yard, we'll look at the new feeder that's about to arrive. Who the heck have left those crates there? Alright, oh, great, it just went flying past again. Uh, we're going to zip up here. Well, we're just going to go around widening the road back out again. Uh, and then that will... That will pretty much be it for us. Uh, for now, at least. And then we'll see what the rest of the snow is going to look like. But that should give the anyone who's driving up here plenty of... Uh, plenty of chance to actually get up. That's the main thing. And yeah, so uh, join us in a little bit. We're going to head back up to the yard there where we'll get some... Uh, we'll have a look at this new machine that's hopefully going to arrive. Well, would you believe it, folks? We are in hot pursuit here. Um, the truck driver has arrived and literally right behind me. I'm plowing the way through from as we speak here. So that's going to be... Uh, well, hopefully we have enough space to get him up here. Oh, I need to go and get that uh, water tote back in the middle of the field. 
Uh, but yeah, we're going to see if we can get ourselves up into the yard, uh, where hopefully uh, we'll get this unloaded. Failing that, what we might do is what we've done previously and just actually drop, get him to park in the uh, stack yard, actually. That might be the easiest thing for us to do. Yeah, good job I came this way, because I don't think you would have got it if I hadn't cleared off the whole road. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that. We might actually get into to uh, straight up here to wait for us anyway. Because he's not going to get around there yet. I'm fairly sure of that. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. Uh, we'll just take it straight over. Nice having this little stack yard here because it makes it just the whole world easier for him to get in. Uh, you don't have to worry about doing anything and then we can still get him unloaded and get him away. Uh, what I'll do is... Um, I wonder actually, we might just even keep him on the main road just for full ease. Because the feeder is facing the other way. Uh, we're going to leave it here, I'm going to grab the 77 I think and then we'll try and get this unloaded. Okie dokie then. This was a very bit of a cold start this morning for this old girl, but she's away. Uh, we're gonna probably. Uh, I'll have to wait maybe. I wonder if it's back all the way up there. I don't know, but we'll figure that one out. Now, this is a. We've gone for a Keenan feeder. A um, little bit. Yeah, we'll do that way. It's a lot newer. Uh, the eagle eyed amongst you would have seen the, the, our regular feeder hasn't been here around the yard for a while there. Um, we did have an old coon. Oh uh, yeah, we took a took a bit of a step up really. Uh, so we are took the investment here. This is going to be with us for some time. My one concern is that it's a big old brute. It's going to take some power in. I wonder if it's going to have to be stuck on here all the uh, all the winter. It may well have to be because, yeah, like I say, it's going to take a little bit of pull in here, but let's see if we can get that all plugged in anyway. But yeah, so there we are. The, this is the Mech Fiber 365. Uh, it's a fairly significant jump up from what we were using, uh, but for right now. Yeah, we'll get this one back up to the yard where we can have a bit of a closer look at it. Uh, we need to make sure that we can get this road cleared again, get our truck away. And yeah, so for the last little while we've just been using the telehandler to feed the bales, which takes a long, long time when you're not used to it. Uh, it really does add a bit of a, a, a dent in your day. Uh, but now we have our bail silage back up here as well, we should be flying. We got hay and straw in the uh, Dutch bar just over the road there next to where we're unloading. Uh, be tight. So we can really get some good mixed ration on the go for the, uh, for the ladies as well. You can see, next job is going to be really to tidy up this uh, tree that fell down. It's got that like a bit of a mess right now. I will just pull this straight through here. A nice looking diet feeder actually here. So, uh, like I say, we're going to be having this for a while because it's an expensive old thing. But uh, yeah, very much a, a pivotal part of the operation now, especially if we want to continue to increase our uh, our output and number of uh, cattle. Uh, it means that we need to be able to feed them a little bit faster. Uh, whilst it's not been too difficult to take down loads of uh, bales down to the, uh, the chicken farm there, in an ideal world, we just have them uh, have a loaded feeder wagon that we can take down. Uh, that way we can mix everything in, not just silage bales. So that will be the next step. Uh, that damn weather balloon's back up again. 
Uh, what we're going to do now, though, is move this thing out of the way. Try and stick into the sides so we can get this truck all off and sorted. I'm actually just going to go and have a look. I haven't been down this track yet either, so we'll get this truck away and then we're going to have a look at the... See what the bales are looking like in the shed down there. All right, he's gone. All good to go there. Uh, this track, well, this shed down here has a load of straw in. Uh, we'll be coming to this more and more now, particularly because the, the grass isn't getting a good chance to grow at all. So we're going to need to fill it with some, uh, feed the cattle with something. We've got hay and straw around bales. Hay's got a bit of a lean on there, but it's uh, not looking too bad. And we've also got the hay up the far end as well, a bit of straw in there, um, but yeah, that should be all good. And uh, we'll see how we get on with those. So yeah, should have plenty left, at least it's all kept relatively dry looking actually, which is good news. Um, so we'll probably, probably, in fact, let's see if we can get a bit of a plow out. I want to get the telehandler down here nice and easy today. Excellent. Anything that makes life a little bit easier for us, really, it will take. We'll do the job. And on, on as we go. The weather for the rest of the week is was supposed to stop snowing today and supposed to warm up a little bit. So what's probably going to happen is, whilst yes, it'll start to melt the snow, we're going to turn into a really wet, sloppy mess very shortly. So uh, look forward to seeing what that looks like. Um, we're, field work is done for now anyway, so we were lucky enough that we would get all of the fertilizer on before uh, before the snow arrived. But whether or not that's going to mean that we're going to have any other issues there, or uh, how long it's going to be wet for, because we're going to have to travel on it at some point soon. Uh, I guess we'll find out though. Alright, perfect. There's a little bit of a truck in there at the very least, makes it a bit easier. Uh, we're going to head back on up to the yard there now. We'll just continue to clear out the yard for a little while. Uh, we'll see what the rest of the snow does. We've made a nice little track for most places. Uh, what we might do actually later on is when Terry gets it up to the yard, we'll go and convoy down to the chicken yard where we can take down a whole load of uh, bales for the tie handler, but they can follow behind me with this, I think. And that way we can guarantee that everything's looking nice and clear. Uh, uh, we should be good to go. Let's clear up this side of the road next. Beautiful. And hopefully that is the last of the snow for us. But I guess we'll wait and find out for that front. Uh, for now though, like I said, we're gonna uh, just keep tidying this all up here. Uh, get into the yard, There's a, I want to make sure we can get the milk truck in here somehow over the course of the next few days. Uh, tomorrow's going to have to be pretty critical because our tank is getting a bit full. Uh, so we'll have to see what we can do about that. So that's going to be the next big challenge. Uh, and then after that, yeah, we're looking alright. Storm Dennis is starting to battle the various places across the UK. Fortunately, we're just getting like the tail end of more snow, I do believe. So we're not doing too badly there. Uh, but yeah, I hope the rest of you are battering down the hatches and making sure that you're not going to be affected by it too greatly. Because uh, yeah, we are having a bit of a rough ride out right now. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll leave it here for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. I have been Frank, your humble host. I do hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you have and you've yet to do so, don't forget to hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button to join Simulation for the Nation who keeps you all up to date with my musings uh, and my my antics from across the farm here uh, and we're gonna try and get this looking like a, a farm again rather than a snowy wonderland so watch this space for that one until then though have yourself a great day enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you later